at the Lesser Slave Lake Bird Observatory and we are doing um, population monitoring on migrants. We have 14 nets set up and they're passively capturing birds. Over the past 20 years, we've been doing the exact same standard counts and standard banding so that we can derive population trends on birds. My name is Nicole Linfoot. I'm originally from southern Saskatchewan, and I've lived kind of all over northern Alberta, generally in very, very small communities. So I always knew I kind of wanted to work outside and in biology, and I love animals and I love birds, and the passion I saw in the other people here, it was very inspiring, and I was like, oh, that seems like the dream. I think Slave Lake is a great place for um, like young people looking for jobs. I also think it is a very good place for families. There's so many community programs. I mean, we've got an excellent library. We have an excellent pool. We have the big rec center now. There's all sorts of drop-in programs for families. I think it's a good place for anyone who wants to go on vacation or find a place to live where you can find a good job. My favorite thing about Slave Lake that I tell anyone is I can walk absolutely everywhere. I can walk from my groceries, I can walk to the Walmart, you can walk down the street, meet people you know, and you are right beside like the biggest lake in Alberta and it's gorgeous and I just love that nature is still right on our doorstep and, and yet you don't have to completely sacrifice the conveniences of living in an urban area.